guys, welcome back to my channel and to another air fryer recipes video. So you guys are loving my air fryer recipes and I am loving making these videos for you. So I am back with another one today. So if you are new, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Sophia and I absolutely love cooking in my air fryer. I have the Ninja Dual Zone Air Fryer and it has so many options. It is super fast at cooking food so much quicker than your traditional oven, which I barely use anymore. And today I am bringing you some more delicious recipes, so I really hope you enjoy them. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give it a big thumbs up. Now let's get straight into the video. So the first recipe I'm sharing is this delicious school cake. So I'm starting with a large bowl and I'm adding in some caster sugar and some softened butter. Make sure the butter is softened, otherwise it will not combine as well. Now whisk these two ingredients together until smooth. I'm then going to be adding in one egg. Now continue whisking until all the ingredients are well combined. And now I'm going to be adding in the flour the vanilla extract and some milk. And now you want to switch to a spatula and give these ingredients a really good mix. Just keep mixing until it comes together and like this. Once you have a smooth batter, you want to transfer into an oven proof dish. I'm actually using this mini loaf tin. It works perfectly in my air fryer. And I am going to pop this directly into my air fryer and I'm going to pick the bake option. I'm going to cook at 180 degrees for 18 minutes. This can take a little bit longer or a little bit less, keep an eye on it. I'm now going to make some frosting with some icing sugar, some milk and vanilla extract. Now whisk these ingredients together until it is nice and smooth. Now just wait for your cake to fully cook through. Once it has, just let it cool slightly before you top with your frosting. And then I went ahead and added some rainbow sprinkles. You can add chocolate chips if you wish. I then cut a slice to show you the inside of this cake. It was super soft, moist and delicious. Look how easily I could break into it. It was cooked to perfection and it was super, super yummy. So give it a try and let's move on to the next recipe. So next up, I'm cooking this delicious roast dinner all in my air fryer. I'm starting with some chicken thighs. You can use any meat of your choice. So I'm adding some salt, some pepper, a little bit of Cajun seasoning, some mixed herbs, some paprika, and some chili flakes and I'm also adding in a drizzle of olive oil. Now put on some gloves and give this a really good mix. You want to make sure that the meat is well coated in all those herbs and spices and then I'm going to cover with some cling film and pop into the fridge to marinate for a few hours. Once you are ready to cook you can take your meat out of the fridge Pop into your air fryer and I cook this on the air fry option at 200 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. I will come back and flip this over halfway through. So in the meantime, I'm going to start on my veggies. So I'm starting with some potatoes. I've just peeled and washed them. And now I'm going to cut into chunks about this size. This should be perfect for me. I am then going to transfer into a pot of water. I'm also going to season with some salt and parboil for 10 minutes. I'm now moving on to my other veggies. So I've got some parsnips and carrots. I'm just going to start by peeling them, giving them a quick rinse. And then I'm also going to cut these up into pieces. I also like to parboil these veggies. I just find it's a lot easier to cook them in the air fryer. So I'm just cutting up the carrots and the parsnips. I'm going to add them to a pot of water and parboil for 10 minutes until they are soft. Once your veggies have parboiled, you want to season. So I'm starting by spraying with some oil and then I'm going to season with some roast potato seasoning. 
give them a really good toss around to make sure they are coated well in that seasoning and then transfer into your air fryer basket and I cooked these on the air fryer mode at 200 degrees celsius for 15 minutes sometimes they can take longer so keep an eye on them so my chicken has been cooking beautifully and it's now to flip it over so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to let this continue cooking in the air fryer So once this was completely done, I just removed from the air fryer and I wrapped in some foil to keep it nice and warm. And then I started on the Yorkshire pudding. So I'm starting with some flour, two eggs, and I'm going to whisk these ingredients together. And then I'm going to gradually add in the milk. You want to do this slowly. So about half of the milk, give it a really good whisk and then you're going to add the remaining milk and keep whisking until you have a really smooth batter. Now I'm just seasoning with some salt and some pepper. We want our Yorkshire puddings to be full of flavour. And then I'm going to spray my little oven dishes with some spray oil. I'm going to preheat this for five minutes and then I am going to pour in the Yorkshire pudding batter. I then cooked these on the air fry option at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. I also checked on the veggies halfway through, gave them a little shake and popped them back in. By this point, my Yorkshire puddings were completely done and it was time for me to plate up. So I'm just adding the chicken to the plate with some delicious roast potatoes, the cooked carrots and parsnips and the Yorkshire pudding. I topped with some yummy gravy and my roast dinner was completely done. Can you believe this was all done in the air fryer? It was super simple to do. It came out absolutely delicious. If you haven't done a roast in the air fryer, now is the time to do it. Next up, I'm going to be making a delicious chicken burger in my air fryer. So I have got some chicken breast here sliced really thinly and then I'm using some of this chicken fry mix. I've got an original one and a hot and spicy one. So in a separate bowl, I'm just going to pour in the original and spicy one. I like to combine the two so it's a medium heat level. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chicken and I'm going to coat it in this fry mix. You want to make sure it is coated well because we are not using any egg mixture to help it stick. And then once I've done this with all of the chicken, I'm going to pop it into my air fryer basket and I'm going to spray with some oil, pop this in on the air fry option at 200 degrees Celsius and I like to cook this for 25 minutes. Make sure you come back when it's halfway cooking and give it a flip, spray with some more oil and then pop back in to fully cook through. And in the meantime, I'm going to assemble my burger. So I've got a brioche bun. I am adding some mayo and some Nando's Perinés. I like the hot one. Then I'm adding on some shredded lettuce. My chicken was done, so I added that. And then I added a slice of cheese. And I'm going to wrap this in some foil. Make sure you wrap it really well. And then I'm actually going to pop this back into the air fryer so the cheese can melt. And I like to cook this at 200 degrees Celsius on the air fry option. And I'm literally going to pop this in for only a few minutes. So as you can see, I only put it on for two minutes. And when it was done, the cheese had melted beautifully and the burger was absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to cut into this one to show you the inside. Honestly, these burgers are super delicious. They are so easy to make. And of course, I served mine with some ketchup and some fries. And the next thing up is this tuna sub. So I'm starting with a tin of tuna. 
and I'm adding in a little bit of mayo. Now I'm going to mix that together and then I'm going to be using these Metro Rolls. I get them in Aldi. They are super soft and delicious. So I've just cut into one. I'm going to layer the tuna on one side. I'm going to season with some black pepper and then I'm adding on some grated cheese. I'm using a mixture of cheese. You can use any that you like. This will then go straight into my air fryer on the air fry option at 200 degrees Celsius for just three minutes until the cheese is nice and melted. And now it's time to top with your favorite ingredients. So I'm starting with some Nando's hot perinase. Then I'm adding on some cucumber, some sliced red onion, some jalapenos, and then some lettuce. And I'm also going to top with a little more of that Nando's Perinase. I absolutely love this. And then I am going to cut into this so you can see just how delicious this sandwich was. You can make so many variations of this. You can change up the tuna for chicken, do whatever you like. It will be absolutely delicious. Okay, guys, there you have it. They were today's recipes. I really hope you enjoyed them. They were all so, so delicious. You need to try them if you haven't already. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It will really help me out and make more videos like this. If you are enjoying this type of content, leave me a comment down below and let me know. Let me know if you try to recreate any of these recipes. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.